Shalom, all praises to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Rakak, Wadash. Double honors to my elders, the apostles of Great Millstone. Those are the men that taught me the truth of the Bible through the Holy Spirit. And Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Rakak, Wadash, Brakatham. To the elect of Israel that scattered around the four corners of the earth. So as you can see here, I'm on the page of Elder Apostle Taha of Great Millstone. Uh, on his YouTube page. And he recently put up a video this morning entitled... Did Israelites sell other Israelites into slavery? Right, where you know he basically posed a question to uh, the congregation regarding uh, you know whether Israelites on the west coast of Africa sold other Israelites you know to the Americas you know and how did that go down? So that's what I want to address here in this lesson, Lord William, because this is all the spirit. Um, yesterday I was sent this article. Um, on two different occasions, right? So it's definitely the spirit. I've got an article here from www.bbc.com going directly into that topic, right? Concerning Israelites selling other Israelites into slavery during the transatlantic slave trade, right? So the answer to Apostle Tahar's question is indeed yes, you had Israelites sell other Israelites into slavery, right? And that's the biggest misconception amongst our people especially over here, um, you know, in North America, Babylon the Great amongst really the southern kingdom of Israel, you know, Judah, Benjamin and Levi. And you should know by now, when we say Judah, Benjamin and Levi, we're referring to you so-called African-Americans, you so-called West Indians and you so-called Haitians today. According to the 12 tribe chart, you know, that was given unto High Priest Ariel, which we believe in according to the faith that was given unto us by, you know, Yahweh Bashmah, Shai, through the spirit. Those are the tribes. But you also have, you know, a bulk of our people still over there on the west coast of Africa, you know, in countries like Nigeria, in countries like Ghana, Cameroon, so on and so forth, which are all Israelites. As a matter of fact, me, myself, I'm a descendant of two Nigerian parents. You know, and being that we're Hebrew Israelites, we declare our pedigree or our lineage, if you will, you know, by our father's uh, lineage, you know, according to uh, the book of Numbers, chapter one, verse 18. Now, as it's written, they declared their pedigrees after their families by the house of their fathers. All right. So I'm an Israelite. I'm a Hebrew Israelite. I believe I'm a Hebrew Israelite according to my father's lineage. But beyond that, you know, I really believe I'm a Hebrew Israelite according to the spirit that Yahweh Bashmi Asher has, you know, bestowed upon me in these last days to understand his word. All right. As it's written, when you go to Psalms 147 verse 19, he showeth his word unto Jacob. Uh, his statutes unto Israel, he have not dealt so with any nation. And you can marry that with what it says in um, Romans 8 verse 16, the spirit itself, which the spirit, you know, according to John 6 verse 63, speaking about the words in the Bible, the words of our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai, that you find written throughout the Bible, you know, the word of Yahweh Bashem Shai, the spirit itself beareth witness with our spirit that we are the children of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. You know, so when we read this Bible, when I read this Bible, or when we go to, uh, let's say, the book of Deuteronomy, the 28th chapter, concerning the blessings and the curses that were going to fall upon the nation of Israel, especially when you read from verse 15 all the way down to verse 68, where it speaks about how our people were going to go back into Egypt, go back into bondage by way of slave ships. <laughs> I know for a fact that this is speaking about my people. That's how I know I'm a Hebrew Israelite. That's how I know my people, all right? And when I say my people, yes, indeed, I'm speaking about you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. This is how I know that we are collectively descendants of the 12 tribes of Israel, okay? Whether we be over here in the Americas or out there on the West Coast of Africa, that's my belief, right? And we understand, as a matter of fact, the majority of, you know, you so-called Negroes, especially over here in, in America, also in, you know, in the West Indies and uh, in South America, in countries like Brazil, right? Oh, can't forget Cuba. There was a heavy population of so-called Yoruba and so-called Igbo, right? Nigerians, if you will, that were taken on the cargo slave ships and brought to those regions. And the reason I say it like that is because a lot of our people especially those of you that's in the truth. You know, you think our people came on the boats calling themselves Judah, calling themselves Benjamin and Levi. Nah, man. Before, you know, we got over here, we actually were identifying ourselves as 
so-called Yoruba, so-called Igbo, uh, so-called Mende, <laughs> so-called Ashanti and all that. But Jake, that's where that, you know, ignorance comes in. And that's not to say that we didn't know we was Israelites, because a lot of our people did know that we were Israelites. But in terms of us fully knowing the truth on the West Coast of Africa, nah, it didn't go down like that, man. We fell away from our heritage, as it's written in the book of Jeremiah 17, verse 4. Let me get that real quick, just before I go into um, that article to prove the point. This is Jeremiah 17, verse 4. It says, and thou, even thyself, shalt discontinue from thine heritage that I gave thee. And I will cause thee to serve thine enemies in the land which thou knowest not. For ye have kindled a fire in my anger which shall burn forever. Right? And this is a curse that fell upon our people. Right? You so-called Negroes, you so-called Latinos, and you so-called Native Americans. The 12 tribes of Israel as a whole. And this curse of us going into captivity underneath our enemies, our main enemy being Esau, Edom, the so-called white man, goes all the way back to the curses that you read about in the book of Deuteronomy 28 and verse 68, all right? But you can really read from verse 15 down to verse 68. And those curses fit us to a T, okay? Now, again, going back to Elder Apostle Tahar's question, did Israelites sell other Israelites into slavery? Well, we got an article here from www.bbc.com. And what does it say? My Nigerian great-grandfather sold slaves. Now, without a shadow of a doubt, so-called Nigerians are Hebrew Israelites, all right? Again, the majority of you so-called African Americans, you descend from so-called Nigerians. The majority of you so-called West Indians, you descend from so-called Nigerians. The majority of you so-called Afro-Cubans, you descend from so-called Nigerians. The majority of you so-called Afro-Brazilians, you descend from so-called Nigerians. And I'm just using Nigeria as an example of where our people actually came from, right? For the most part. I mean, you understand, of course, you had a lot of our people coming out of um, Europe too. You know, out of Portugal and Spain. But without further ado, you know, this is run with this article. It says, amid the global debate about race relations, colonialism, and slavery, some of the Europeans, which these Europeans are Edomites and Americans who made their fortunes in trading human beings have seen their legacies reassessed, their statues toppled and their names removed from public buildings. Now, and that's where you pull scriptures like uh, when you go to the book of Sirach, the 10th chapter, around the 8th verse, roughly paraphrasing, it says, um, because of unrighteous dealings, injuries and riches got by the seat. The kingdom is translated from one people unto another. And that's the time period that we're living in right now, right? Where Esau, Edom, the so-called white man, is going down. And the Israelites, our so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, were coming into power, all right? Because Esau got this world, as is written. Job chapter 9, verse 24, the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. He got it in a malicious way. You know, he got the riches. He got this kingdom by way of his sword. You know, which was his blessing in the first place. But nevertheless, Yahweh Bashmel Ashai is about to take him out of rulership, really because of how he got into rulership. Okay, again, Sirach chapter 10, verse 8. Nigerian journalist and novelist Adaobi Trisha Nuambani writes that one of her ancestors sold slaves, but argues that she should not be judged by today's standards or values. My great-grandfather, and forgive me if I pronounce this wrong, Nuabani Ogogo Ori, Oriaku was what I prefer to call a businessman from the Igbo ethnic group of southeastern Nigeria. He dealt in a number of goods, including tobacco and palm produce. He also sold human beings, all right? So to sum up this little paragraph here, we're reading about a so-called uh, Nigerian of the Igbo tribe, which again, the Igbos are Hebrew Israelites of the southern kingdom of Israel, either Judah, Benjamin, or Levi. You know, a lot of you so called African Americans, you're actually descendants of so called Igbo people. But what we're, what we're reading about here is, you know, what I perceive to be an Israelite selling other Israelites into slavery, man. All right, now, indeed, this of course could have been uh, a Hamite that sold. Israelites into slavery we don't know exactly you know what we do know is that again you know this particular ethnic group the Igbo 
they're Israelites without a shadow of a doubt, all right? And it's not far out to, you know, think that you had Israelites that were selling other Israelites during the transatlantic slave trade. That was actually happening too. You had a lot of uh, tribal warfare that was going on amongst Jake back then. You know, a story that comes to my mind when I think about, you know, this situation here concerning Jake selling Jake or Israelites selling Israelites into slavery. Uh, the main story that comes to my mind as it pertains to our history as a people is the story of um, Joseph, right, being sold onto the Ishmaelites by his brothers. The story that comes to my mind is the book of Genesis, uh, the 37th chapter, and around the 12th verse to around verse 27, if I'm not mistaken, you know, where you read about how um, our, our patriarchs, you know, the, the 12 sons of Israel, you know, they, they sold um, Joseph to the Ishmaelites, right? You can read that for yourself, you know, for the sake of time. I don't want to go all up into that story. Uh, we can get one scripture on that. I believe it's also mentioned in the book of Acts. Acts, the seventh chapter, and I believe it's around the ninth verse. Let's see. Yep. Well, I'll start from verse eight. It says, well, I'll start from verse seven. It says, and the nation to whom they shall be in bondage, will I judge, said Yahweh Bashmael Shai, and after that shall they come forth and serve me in this place. You know, and this is speaking about how the Israelites were, you know, brought into bondage underneath the Egyptians, the ancient Egyptians, you know, for a period of four hundred years, you know, and then, you know, Yahweh Bashmael Shai delivered our people. You can read that you can read all of that in the history. Uh, verse 8 says, and he gave him the covenant of circumcision. And this is why a man like myself, even though I was born and raised in London, England, like I said, I have so-called Nigerian parents. And this is why I, myself, alongside other so-called Nigerian men, this is why we're, you know, circumcised on the eighth day, because this is our law and this is our customs. Going all the way back to our forefather, Abraham, and that custom of circumcision on the eighth day, was passed down onto our forefather Isaac, who begat Jacob, right? Jacob, whose name was changed to Israel, had 12 sons, the 12 patriarchs of Israel, Judah, all the way down to Issachar. You know, and like I said, this is where we as a people, our so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, this is where we descend from, the Israelites. But in particular, you know, I'm speaking about the southern kingdom of Israel. This is where you get so-called Nigerian, so-called West Africans with these Hebrew Israelite customs, all right? That's what we're reading about here, circumcision. Verse 8, it says, And he gave him the covenant of circumcision, and so Abraham begat Isaac and circumcised him the eighth day, and Jacob begat the twelve patriarchs, right? That's the twelve sons of Israel, in whom are so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, who are the Israelites. We descend from the twelve patriarchs, right? From Judah all the way down to Issachar. And here's the point. And the patriarchs moved with envy, sold Joseph into Egypt, but the Most High, Yahweh Bashmael Shai, was with him, all right? So there you have it. How much more when we was on the west coast of Africa, when we were fighting amongst ourselves, you know, you had all that tribal warfare that was going on. <laughs> it was happening, man. It was going down, you know? It was definitely going down. And on top of that, we can't forget about the curses that fell upon our people, you know, a curse that comes to our mind. You know, concerning this matter is um, when we go here to the book of Deuteronomy. Bear with me real quick. Deuteronomy 28 and around verse 54. What does it say? It says, So that the man that is tender among you and very delicate, his eye shall be evil toward his brother. And what's meant by the man that is tender among you and very delicate? That's going into the love that we had for one another as a people, the love amongst the brotherhood that we had, you know, in the days of old, you know, amongst the Israelites, amongst the 12 tribes of Israel. One of the curses that fell upon our people was this, so that the man that is tender among you and very delicate, his eye shall be evil toward his brother. And this curse here really broke forth, you know, in a major way during the transatlantic slave trade. You know, which is what we're reading about here, you know, concerning Israelites selling other Israelites into slavery, man. And this ain't no new thing, you know, as it says, Ecclesiastes 1 verse 9, there's no new thing under the sun, right? That beef between the tribes, especially between 
uh, Judah, Benjamin and Leroy, right? that's been happening, man. You know, even in school, even in London, there was beef between the so-called Nigerian against the so-called Jamaican, man. The so-called Jamaican man against the so-called Nigerian, man. The so-called Nigerian against the so-called Ghanaian, right? When I came over here to America, <laughs> I heard about um, there being beef between so-called African-Americans and so-called Jamaicans. Blah, 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 blah. It's been going on, like, amongst the tribes, so it's nothing new. It ain't nothing new, and that's what was going on back in the day, all right, when we was all on the west coast of Africa. All type of wickedness was taking place on the west coast of Africa, man, all right? That's what was happening. But again, that's where that ignorance comes in as it pertains to our people. But guess what? That's where you have Bashmah Shai is bridging the gap, you know, with brothers like myself and, you know, our elders, our, our apostles, like Apostle Taha, you know, he's bridging that gap between, you know, the Jake on the west coast of Africa and Jake over here. And that's all through the spirit, man. So, you know, there's other points that I can make, you know, in this article that I can go into. You know, another scripture that comes to mind, which I'm not going to go into for the sake of time. You can go to the book of Exodus, the 21st chapter, and read about how, you know, our people, or I should say how there was a law that was given unto us by the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, through our forefather Moses, you know, concerning having Hebrew Israelite servants and Hebrew Israelite slaves, in which this article goes into that too. I've also got a whole playlist on my um, page concerning the Israelites on the west coast of Africa, you know, so you can get edified, you know, through the spirit, man. You know, it's all there. So Lord willing, you sincere brothers and you sincere sisters out there were edified through the spirit. You know, I want to give all praises, honors and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Rakaq, Kodash. Double honors to my elders, the apostles of Great Millstone. Those are the men that taught me the truth of the Bible through the Holy Spirit. And Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Rakaq, Kodash, Thumb to the elect of Israel. Shalom.